you, 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 use, you, 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 you look peripheral, you know when they're coming, but you look forward to, instead of looking to the stick. Like when we play drums, we don't look at the stick because we'll be here. Right. So we just play. The same is Cali is the same thing. You're looking forward, but you can see peripherally. Yeah. You know, yeah. where the guy is moving, the other guy is moving over here. When we do, for example, uh, sombrada, you know, mm -hmm. sombrada is a free flow. It's so wonderful. And man, it's, you can be practicing Kali three hours and don't get tired either because right. it's not about force. Mm -mm. Flow. It's flow. Right. Although it's, 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 it's deadly, you know. Yeah. You oh, hit yeah. somebody with that cane oh, yeah. <laughs> anywhere, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> you're going to be hurt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big <laughs> yeah. time. So it's, I don't know much because I've only been practicing with you know, Santo for five years. That's you a know? long time, though. That's yeah. A, that's a good amount of time to yeah. study anything. Five years is good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to really understand, you know, especially the intricacy of the technique. Oh, right. skills is the, the, oh, okay, the, the okay, one, okay, okay. yeah. A speed, skills, right. and a spirit. Right. So it's stamina, strength, strategy, a speed, skills, skills. and a spirit. Right. Six S's. Right. Yeah. Okay, so you were talking about in music and martial arts, all the senses, being there, being aware there of, of being in it. Like, yes. okay, this is it. It's Everything is here now. Am I here? Um, again, another quote, Bruce Lee quote, is his famous water quote, be fearless. Formless, shapeless, be like water. You pour water into a cup, it becomes the cup, right? right. You pour it into a teacup, it becomes a teacup. You pour it into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. That's true. It could crash or it could flow. Yes. Be like water. Be like water. So to me, that's in music, maybe you can talk about how difficult is it or how important is it to be in that situation, whether it's a, a session or per live performance, how important is it to be there for the song, for the performer, without taking away from it or you know, putting something that shouldn't be there? How, how important is it to be that? Got it. To get there is like everything. Even Bruce Lee had to done it that way. Mm -hmm. You learn the fundamentals, mm -hmm. right? Right. fundamentals of uh, in music well, you study some harmony so you have develop your senses melodic senses right. you know uh, your own instruments and then you study the genres the different styles of music and you acquire a, a interlock metronome Mm -hmm. So you have a good sense of tempo and time, you know, going back to Weather Report, if you listen to Black, uh, Black Market and also uh, <coughs> Heavy Weather, in those days we didn't use clicks. Right. This is 70s. Mm -hmm. And the time is there, yeah. like, oh, yeah. like, because every, all those musicians have a perfect timing. Mm -hmm. So there's, nobody's rushing, nobody's slowing down, everybody's there, right. you know. So it's the same with this. Uh, in Cali, for me, I don't have much experience, uh, you know, I'm learning as I go because, first of all, in Cali, you have to uh, understand a little bit of Tagalog, mm -hmm. uh, Indonesian, yeah. Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot of languages oh, yeah. <laughs> trying to understand Cali and Silat, right. you know. In music, also, you know, relantando, mm -hmm. acelerando, right. fortissimo, you know, the Italian words right. and blah, 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 and cadenza, mm -hmm. you know, which also cadenza is a cadenza when we, when we train in Cali, it's just, yeah, exactly. it's, so it's very similar. A lot of stuff, we say, wow, it became very parallel, both of them. And uh, what you quest to answer your question was, is when you have all those elements, you know the styles, and you know how to play with this bass player. You know how to play with this bass player, Stanley Clark, Ayla Boriel, John Patitucci, or blah, 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 you know, you get, or you know how to play with, because I'm a percussionist, I also play with all the drummers. I play with all the Steves, 
I play with, uh, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. I play with all the Daves, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they right. know who they are. Oh yeah. And all the Vinnies, you know. Right. <laughs> so, and uh, since I know drumming, I know how, how they play, I know how I want to play with them, so I adapt, you know. It's that's a, it, adapt. You, yeah, that's the main word. Right. A music is you have to adapt. Like I explained, you know, if he, I'm playing dynamics, when it's supposed to be forte, when it's supposed to be medium, when it's supposed to be slow, I mean, uh, soft, and all of that. But listening, developing that momentum of listening the orchestra, right. to play with the orchestra, is not really to play alone, you by yourself. So it's an incredible adaptation of all those intricate at uh, times and moments that goes in one song. The song is the one that tells you how he wants to be played. Exactly. You as a musician have to understand that the songs want me to play this beat. For example, you know, uh, Sometimes maybe or sometimes right. you know. So the song will tell you in what places you use this, you use that, you do that. What kind of hi hat? What kind of bass drum you want to be putting together? That's experience. Right. It, it comes with the time of playing and listening and performing and recording and studying and you know a bunch of preparation to get to that place right. to be able to develop in the given time exactly you know, in the, the time so I mean I cannot tell you anything about uh, fighting because since I started doing martial arts from Puerto Rico and everything I never fight mm. no, never had a fight yeah. and much less now if anybody if you want to fight, I say, no, sorry, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want, bye bye. <laughs> you know, so it's not about that. Yeah. But music is uh, so wonderful, man, that uh, it's something that the, the more that you learn, the more that you study, you discover how infinite it is. Right. It's really far out. I don't want to say it this way, but I'm going to. Mm -hmm. As much as uh, Mr. John Williams, Stravinsky, and all those big musicians, I don't think they reached all the way right. with music. Right. They got far. Little music little. is still farther than that. The other day I had an incredible experience with uh, Gustavo Dudamel, mm. the guy that's conducting the Fi yeah. LA Philharmonic. Philharmonic yeah. I don't know, he's, I think he's in his 30s. You know, he's yeah, a young he's man young. from Venezuela. Yeah. He conducts intricate music. He knows all these amazing, you know, 40 minutes suites right. of music of the great composers, you know. Right. And I don't know, maybe he's sight reading and uh, knows by memory, perfect, right? So one day he invited me to play something that he wrote for a movie, uh, Simon Bolivar, Bolivar. Mm -hmm. the Libertador is the name okay. of the movie. And uh, I went to play with the Philharmonic. And so we, we were about eight percussionists then. And um, he said in the rehearsal, guys, I want to um, take 15 minutes break, but I want the percussionists to stay there because I, I want to come over to talk to you guys. Okay, so he came over. He started playing on the percussions every part wow. that he wanted the way it's supposed to be, some of us didn't know these beats because these are Venezuelan beats. Oh, I see. Tiki knows some. Right. Because Tiki is married to a Venezuelan. Right. He plays the maraca like a Venezuelan. Yeah. He plays all the cule puya and he plays the uh, tambora, whatever, you know, the, uh, uh, the gaita, tambora gaita the, from, from Venezuela. And Tiki wasn't there, but that's when I knew, I said, man, this guy is so young. How did he, I never seen a conductor, a classical conductor come over here and play this ethnic instrument. Wow. It blew my mind. Wow. And I said, man, 
I bow. Right. I said, respect. But that's how deep music is. Mm -hmm. You know, these composers, these great musicians that compose for the movies and, you know, writers for songs and everything, I'm pretty sure, man, they, they have to stay with it all, all day. Yeah. You it's... know, uh, studying and finding the right chords. Even for the, the person that write the songs, mm -hmm. they the like consonants and they like vowels to, to go in the note. This, right. this, this vowel, O, E, E, U, is better than There's this so for, for many... this note. Yeah. So it's a lot of studying, you know? And, and when you prepare, it becomes easier. It becomes second hand. I mean, second nature, excuse me, right. second nature. But, but uh, it's, uh, music and Cali for me are, I mean, still, uh, whatever, martial arts, these martial arts that I'm learning with Inno Santo are bringing me to a new place. Right. Uh, my mind, my coordination, I'm remembering better. And I'm learning all these languages as well. All right. And uh, how to spar. And the main thing is, Nobody comes out of that uh, academy with a scratch. Mm -hmm. Like when we play music also, nobody comes out, oh, I, I wish I could play that. Oh, I, no, right. because all the people that are playing in this orchestra, all the musicians here in Los Angeles, you know, it's the cream of the crop. Everybody here is here doing the studios because they prepare. Right. They've been studying. The goal was to come and be mm -hmm. studio musicians or be great musicians in Los Angeles or in New York. So it takes a lot of preparation, a lot of study, a lot of a love for, right. you know, and uh, an incredible discipline and a perseverance, you know, for to continue, you know, and, and, and again, I'm going to say it again, to make the composer proud of what he wrote. Right. So you give him, you mentioned it in the question, the producer, the composer, I ask him, what instrument would you like? You like this, you like this, uh, you like that? What sound? Low, high, middle? You like wood, metal? Uh, you like head? All of that stuff. Right. So many details in percussion, it's oh, open, yeah. you know. So. That's amazing, yeah, it is endless and infinite. Um, this is amazing. And the connection with the martial arts and music. And I got to go back to another last quote from Sifu Bruce Lee. And when he said, martial arts is the true form, the truest form of self-expression. Yes. And I see that in both music and martial arts. Yes. So before we go, maybe touch on how they're connected on being able to express yourself, whether you're training, learning, playing, listening, yes. you know, what is it that's coming out and how does it come out because of the martial arts or the music? Right. See, in, in, as you know, because you do Kali and Silat, you have to have a partner to train. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you, you, you find a guy that has the same rhythm right. with you. And they say uh, uh, strength and what we call not not, uh, not we don't call it vibe, but we call it uh, energy. Energy, right. you know, the same energy. And uh, so it's like for when we play music, especially in drums, there is a bass player that you like. Right. They have the same pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, me and Jaco got it, and me and Abraham got mm -hmm. it, and. Vinny plays with everybody, all the bass right. players, you know, they, they, and things like that. And, and Steve Gadd and all those guys, you know, they, in New York, uh, Anthony Jackson, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so it's amazing. Patatucci with uh, Dave Weckl, you know. Right. And, uh, they, uh, so you find a partner. Right. It's the same with Cali and Silla. You find a partner because the timing and everything. So you know, you never get hurt. You never, you know, there is a ways of treating each other with respect and admiration and especially, you know, to make the art flow right. better and understanding, right. you know. Not so much of correcting each other, no. It's not much of that. It's just doing the right way. The, the correction comes 
when he does it to you, and he does it the way he does, and you feel it, they, oh, that's, that's, mm. I like it. That, so, okay, so mm. when in my time, oh, he said, yeah, exactly. But you know, we never stop and say, no, no, don't do that or do this or no, no. We just do it, follow each other, the flow and everything. Right. Music is the same thing. You know, it's feeling great. It's feeling good, whatever style we're playing. The harmonies are great, the timing is great, the groove is fantastic. Let's stay in it and develop, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, over there in the, in the academy, uh, the martial arts, there are some guys like uh, Joe Clark, that is Guru's right hand, mm -hmm. and then Danny Lonero. Those, those are black belts that have been 20 years with him, right. you know. And then Jeffy Mara, maybe 30 or some more years. Jeff teaches Denzel Washington. Denzel right. came to the academy. Right. And Matt Damon. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, even Kobe took some uh, JKD private lessons. With, uh, with, what's his name? With, yeah. Uh, Jerry? Poti. Jerry, what's his last name? <sighs> yeah, he's one of, he, yeah, he's a JKD. Yeah. Uh, I forgot his last name. But yeah, I know who you're talking about. Right. So, you know, it's, uh, I, I think they wanted to do it mainly because uh, it's a beautiful art. There's a lot of respect. And it's like a, this martial artist, like Corrado, also Corrado Rotondela, he went to Berkeley, amazing drummer. Mm -hmm. And he's 12 years old doing uh, with Inno Santo, amazing black belt. He teach me a lot. We, he, we come over here and, and jam too. Nice. We do Cali in the backyard, and then we come over here and play. Nice. You know, we share because it's the same thing, the same languages, the same uh, rhythm, the same coordinations, you know, music, okay. What Cali, for example, you know, is in six, eight. Mm -hmm. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. right? And then one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. you know? And, uh, and then the steps, you know, when, how to go to the right, to the left, and you know, and all that. And incredible, the body coordination, mind coordination, and the coordinations of the arms. All right. and, and the right technique without damaging the partner and without getting hurt. Right. Don't hit anybody right. with the car sticks. You know, nobody, and things like that. Same with music. I say, if you you play in this line, I'm not going to just make a drum feel to step into you what right. you play. Right. You don't have to be sensitive to all right. that. It's a right. lot of that. Oh yeah, mind sensitive, awareness. hearing awareness. Right. So, so Alex, again, yeah. I want to thank you so much for inviting us to your beautiful home thank and you. for and agreeing to do this. It, I mean. I really am truly honored to be here in your presence. You, you literally changed my life. So to be here is a godsend. And uh, Ben, thank you again so much for doing this. Anytime, man. You're watching High Tops to High Hats with the legendary Alex Acuna. Aloha.